Welcome to the channel Take and Make. I'm glad you're here. In this episode, I'm going to restore Deba knife, Japanese multifunctional kitchen knife. Sit back and enjoy the process. Let's see if we can polish the front side using just the stone. That's how it's looking after 250 grit whetstone. There's some deep damage on the edge. I won't be able to get rid of that. Otherwise I ruin the geometry. It is what it is. So now we're gonna switch to 1000 grit. I am begging on my knees, send me jar of elbow grease and a bit of patience please. That's a lot of handwork, jeez. Alright guys, we're gonna set this blade aside and uh, I gonna do another final polish on it but meantime we're gonna work on the handle this steel is extremely hard the hardest I ever had I spent over 10 hours sanding it and polishing it on a whetstone
So I'm done with cutting and let's see what I have in mind for our handle. It's gonna be a piece of purple heart, ebony and another piece of purple. But just to highlight this a little more, I wanna add two pieces of this blue G10 liner. If you guys haven't seen yet, check out restoration of, of these German scissors. I'm gonna leave you the link in the description. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. What you guys think? Let's give it a quick scent and we're ready for glue up. Okay, let's clean our parts up and get epoxy ready. I'm not gonna glue this chunk yet, you'll see why later. You know better trick than using masking tape to mix epoxy on? Duct tape. I must be crazy, but I like this smell. You know what is best part of five minutes epoxy? That it isn't a five minute epoxy and you actually have plenty of time. I'm just gonna let it sit for two, three minutes, wait till epoxy starts setting up and I clump it then, otherwise it's gonna be shifting. So this piece is going to be our bolster and we have to drill out and file out this hole. If you guys haven't seen yet, I suggest you watch this electric drill restoration. You know where the link would be. In case you don't know, it's in the video description. There is some imperfections, of course, but hey, this is my first time doing that, so not too bad. There is some gaps, especially here, but that's okay, we'll fill it with epoxy mixed with purple heart sawdust. All right, guys, it's been a couple days after glue up. Our epoxy is nice and cured, and now we can start shaping our handle. This video is also an example for the ethers. If I had the shop, if I had the power tools, I would definitely do that too. Those kind of guys. Well, look at me. I don't have a shop. I do it in my apartment. I mostly use hand tools you can buy cheap and I don't bitch about it. It is very possible to do it at home. So get your ass off the couch and go do something. Actually, I am sitting on the couch doing this, but you get my point. So using this file seems to work pretty good. It's an old bastard file. I actually restored it too. Yeah, you guessed it right, link is there. That's what just happened. I was filing too crazy, so we lost one piece of liner. That's a bummer, but not a big deal. I'm gonna glue up another one. That's what I was able to do with file. Not bad, guys. I kinda like it. Okay, let's mark it out and drill our hole.
Houston, we have a problem. Bit slipped. This ebony wood is so freaking hard. Since it's all gonna be hidden by this piece, we don't really care how big of the hole is there. Just gonna have to drill it off center like that. It is what it is. Shit, that didn't work as expected at all. That's a little bit frustrating, but we'll try to fix it. I just gonna file out this hole with my needle files and we'll glue everything together. Gotta get it done. So whenever something like that happens to you, think to yourself, can you still fix it? If yes, give it some time, take a break. Come back and fix it and show it who's the boss. That's how I would do anyway. I'm not a give upper. Attempt number two. guys so after a good hour or so of shaping it with a file I got it to the point where I like it let's round up this edge and get to the sanding after another hour with sandpaper I went all the way up to 400 grit and let me tell you boy this is smooth check it out guys looks pretty cool I love it. Can't wait to put some oil on it. So what have I learned? Next time I decide to make a handle like this, I have to drill each piece separately and then glue them all together. Last time we used 1000 grit on it and this is 6000 whetstone. This is definitely bring up the shine. It is also pretty sharp already. So it's pretty much ready for final polish with buffing wheel. Alright, you guys ready? Check this out. Mirror. Alright guys, our restoration is complete. I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Looks damn amazing. Better than I have expected for sure. Look at those colors. Thanks for watching and I will see you next one. <laughs> Let's get epoxy ready and put this bad boy together. Already feels good. I'm just gonna take my uh, needle file and make some scratches here on the tank. Okay guys, so for this one here I wanna try something new. I'm just going to dump it right from the plunger and mix it inside and then put my blade in. And I don't see why this can't work. It's sitting good in its place, so I'm not even going to bother to apply any pressure on it to clump it somehow. I'm just gonna let it sit, let it cure, and it's gonna be good. Okay, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I'm gonna use Danish oil to finish the handle. Okay, you guys ready for some magic? Can't wait to see it.
Oh yeah, look at that color. This handle is absolutely amazing, guys. For my first experience, wow. Here it is, guys. Restored Deba knife. I like it very much. Not only it looks good, but it also works good. Look how awesome this knife looks on my cutting board. Oh my lord. Well, this is it guys. I am very pleased with the end result. This knife is amazing. I thank you very much for making this to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, for being with me on this not simple but very very exciting project of this Japanese Deba knife restoration. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, maybe they will like it too. Comment down below what you think about this project. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. There's gonna be tons of interested content in the future. That's it for this one, and I will see you next one. Bye, guys! You guys are still here? Okay. I cut some more paper for you then.